Now, but we have to congratulate you on your brilliant movie, Eighth Grade. Thank it you. is <laughs> the film of the summer for me. Uh, you wrote it, you directed the film. For anyone who doesn't know, tell them what it's about. It's about a 13-year-old girl, her last week of eighth grade, um, and nothing really happens, but it feels like a lot. <laughs> is, that a, is that an awful sell? Yeah. Now, it's, it's not. It's a brilliant, brilliant film, yeah. but it's true that middle school is often a very awkward time. Yes. Uh, what was, what was Tig Notaro like, eighth grade, middle school? What was that time of your life like? Well, I was I was a bit mischievous. I was I was terrible. I um I I failed eighth grade actually twice. Wow. And then, what? Um, Wait, I did. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. I failed. Tig, no. Sir. <laughs> I failed eighth grade twice. They moved me up to ninth grade, and then I dropped out of ninth grade, and I essentially have a seventh grade. Education. Do you get a, what is your, do you have any sort of education? What well, is I got your... my GED, <laughs> General Education Diploma. Right. Um, not to be braggadocious, but um, <laughs> it is very general education, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I passed. From Harvard and, General, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I got it, and then I, I accidentally left it on my uh, uh, table at the house, and my cat ate it. <laughs> And, you know, there's all this pressure put on you, like, oh, you got to get uh, an education or at least get your uh, general education diploma. Yeah. And then my cat eats it, and then, you know, I was a little stressed at first, but then I, then it was kind of humorous to think that this diploma was digested by my cat <laughs> and then ended up um, in a litter box. Well, it didn't just end up in a litter box no because way. we have it here. This, oh. and you can see here, this is Tig's uh, GED oh. from school. Look at that. Oh Look. My God. That is my uh, real name. Yeah. Wait. Wait, for how? Yes. Let, I, we should give applause how clean her cat's gastrointestinal system is. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Spotless. Come on. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> now, John, you, you worked as a middle school and high school. Teacher. Yeah, but right after high school, I uh, I taught seventh and tenth grade English at a private school for a year, uh, poorly, but um, it was no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tick. Uh, yeah, it was wild. I mean, I had. What a... was Mr. Cho like as a teacher? Mm. I grew up in in church, uh, and he, my father was a preacher, and he. Mm employed me uh, to, you know, teaching uh, younger kids. And so I had, I knew that you had to be on it on day one and show them no weaknesses. There was a guy that started with me and I went to visit him a couple of months in to visit his classroom. And I walked in and it was like an 80s comedy, just a, a, a paper airplane flew by my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, spitballs were flying. Kids were sitting on desks. It was it was awful. Kids were sitting on desks. Yeah. My God, John. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, Tig. Now, Bo, there's a, there's a scene in the movie showing what I think is a very accurate portrayal of an awkward teen pool party. Mm. Is this something that you a little, a little personally <laughs> experience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was not thrilled with my body at that time. Um, I had no hair under my arms, so I was doing this in the pool. I was very <laughs> self-conscious. But, like, the boys who had hair, like, were not thrilled. No one was thrilled. No. Um, but, yeah, I mean, part of the movie is just trying to see these experiences fresh as the kids do, which is, like... Because we, we, re we think pool parties are normal things for kids to have. They aren't. It's a bunch of kids whose bodies are exploding, half-dressed, in a <laughs> hole in the ground filled with, like, how is this legal for kids to be going through? <laughs> um, did you do pool parties growing up? No, there weren't many pools in High Wycombe, so... Yeah. Above ground? <laughs> above ground? It wasn't a big... High Wycombe's not so much the pool kind of place, yeah. although Richard Shedd's dad worked at a place that had a pool. Richard and, Shedd. Yeah, my friend Richard Shedd, yeah. his dad, Dick Shedd. Rob Dick Shedd, Shedd, worked at Taylor Woodrow, and there was a pool at his work, and we went there, and it was horrific. Yeah. <laughs> For me, particularly, because this was around the time that the film The Goonies came out. Oh, no. And if you look like me, 
when the Goonies came out, Chug. all anyone wants you to do is the truffle shuffle. Oh, no. So okay. what you do... No. No, it's worse. No. So what happens... What happens is that. <laughs> right, right. What just happened then is what happens. Yeah. And you make the mistake of doing it once. Yeah. And you think people loved it. They didn't. They didn't? They weren't laughing with you. They were very much laughing at you. And then it just becomes a thing. Well, it's good to see you've gotten over it. <laughs> <In the tr> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs>